Peter Byrne and I interviewed the man, and uh, we got the uh, the calls from the sheriff's department, and uh, and they were about two weeks apart. Uh, the two different calls. The one call, uh, the first one he made, is when his dog got killed. Now, what are you reporting? Uh, I got a strange going on out here. Something just killed my dog. Something killed your dog? My dog went flying through the air over the tree. I don't know how it did it. Okay. Damn, and I'm really confused. All I saw was my dog coming over the fence, and he was dead when she hit the ground. I didn't see any cars. All I saw was my dog coming over the fence. Well, I edited that. We got, I got, we got the uh, Peter Byrne and I interviewed the man, and uh, we got the uh, the calls from the sheriff's department, and uh, I edited it down. So there's a lot of typing in between his his talking and, and the dispatchers talking, and they were about two weeks apart. Uh, the two different calls. The one call, uh, the first one he made, is when his dog got killed. He don't know how that happened because he said he'd seen it fly over the fence uh, uh, and it landed. Uh, we measured it 35 feet from the fence. And where it went over the fence, uh, he showed us a spot on the limb. It was like uh, there was a tree close by, nine and a half feet up, is where the dog comes sailing over. And what he said he heard was a big thump. And this was like 1 o'clock, 1 30 in the morning, something like that. He's working in his garage, and, and when this happened, uh, he was very compelling, very, very uh, believable, and he was a Vietnam vet, and he was very sober. We, uh, I looked over the other side of the fence, looking to see if there was any horses or any sign of anything else, and couldn't find anything. Well, his dog was, it was an older German Shepherd, a big dog, and uh, it was his favorite dog, actually. He had two other smaller ones that used to always go out and yap and anything, but they came in and cowered, cowered down, and his German Shepherd went out, and that kind of puzzled him. Anyway, we tried to get the permission from him to dig the dog up. Uh, he wouldn't allow that. And uh, he just seems to stay out of the picture. He, he knows what he saw, and, and he knows he saw a Bigfoot, but he didn't want to say a Bigfoot on, on the, on the, this, to the dispatcher. They, they might have laughed him off and not sent anybody out. But uh, anyway, it was uh, very compelling, his, his uh, recount of that. It's on the, uh, actually on the Kitsap Peninsula, which is, I don't usually tell people that, but it doesn't really matter now. The guy doesn't live there any longer, I don't believe. 911, what are you reporting? Uh, we got someone or something crawling around out here. Did you see what it was? Was it a person or an animal or? I can't tell. All I know is that my central light came on and I just happened to glimpse and see this thing running across the yard. Uh, a good sized man or something that looks like a man. I don't know what it was, just that it ran across the yard. Okay. You've had problems in the neighborhood before? Yeah, my dog was killed here just recently. I don't know what it was, whatever it is, it's running. I couldn't catch it if I was going to chase it. But whatever it was, it was standing up. I'm out here looking through the window now and I don't see anything. I don't want to go outside. Jesus Christ, you better... Sure. See ya. Hello. Get somebody out here. What's going on now, sir? That son of a bitch is about six foot nine, I don't know. Do you see him now, sir? Yes, I'm looking right at him. Uh-oh. Okay, hang on. He's right... Is he in your yard, sir? Yeah, God, he's big. Okay, what's he doing in your yard? He's looking at me. Oh, and the guy is on foot. This... I don't know what... It, it, it's, it's a big... Real big person. That's all I can say. Okay, but it is a it is a person. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it was a person or somebody really big. But he's all in black. He's is he a black male or a white male? Did you actually see whether or was he just wearing black? He's all black and he's big. He is big. He told us what he saw. That's what he saw. Uh, pretty much uh, that right there. He saw this thing looking at him. Standing. He had a car parked outside of his garage. He had these uh, these light sensors on the outside of his garage. And he had his garage doors closed, but he had the windows in his garage door. You know, like some of us do, let light in the daytime. And uh, this thing that uh, triggered the sensor light at the at end of his car, which is right in front of his garage door. And uh, he looked out there and seen the thing looking at him, and uh, it really freaked him out. He, it was it was huge, and he didn't want to say seven foot something because again, it would have uh, maybe not allowed, not uh, got the police out there or the sheriff's department out there when they need to get out there right away. Oh, he also said a, a car went by and almost it went into the ditch and uh, almost hit it when it ran away, it went across those, this old dirt road out there where he lived. Pretty wooded area. So we thought we I think we, we ran an ad in the paper to see if anybody would respond to it, if anybody see anything strange on that road. 
and uh, didn't get any replies to it. I don't think she she didn't want to say it, and he didn't want to say it, but I think they may have been thinking the same thing, <laughs> um, that it was what it was. 